Hello crafty friends, uh, another haul video for you. This one is like a one-off, I reckon, haul of some stamps that I've been eyeing off for a couple of years now and I keep seeing someone use them every once in a while and I'm like, oh, I need to get that. But anyway, I finally broke down and got it and looked at it. So this is a French stamp company. So, what, like, you know, I ordered it directly from them they were great service, excellent, you know, pricing, all that sort of stuff. Um, I thought it was perfect. I'm here in Australia, so the um, shipping was only like $11. It was really reasonable. And I just got the three stamp sets um, with it. So these ones are more than a standard size, sorry. So here's your standard size stamp set. And it's basically double, so it's twice the size as your standard um, stamp set. And this one here is your standard size stamp set. So just so you can compare sizes and everything. So the company is Katzel Craft um, at www.katzelcraft.fr for France. I just googled them um, and it was really cool. Um, I'll put like a link to their store just in the bottom. Um, and you just press I think when I was on my tablet, it just said, would you like to convert, you know, this to English? And I hit yes and, you know, just wandered through their stamps and picked out the ones I liked. Um, this is the one that I've been in love with for ages. So I don't think there was a name or I think it might be Jungle Animals or something, but it's KTZ168 is the number they've got there. And I loved um, these images, my favorite being the elephant that's laying there flat out thinking, looking grumpy as, I like it, and the giraffe with the knot in the neck, and a hippo flying, the zebra, the spotted zebra with the stripy sweater, the zenning out um, monkey with the feather hat, and then your, you know, king of the lions sort of thing with the bird on his face. I just liked that they're, I don't know, they're so good, like I think I could use them on man masculine cards, like they're not too cutesy, they're kind of sketchy, and they're like grumpy animals or... I don't know, weird, whatever. Anyway, I loved it. So, the thing is, they come on red rubber. Now, I've mounted these on the gray, so they don't come like that. They come in a sheet the size of this. Um, they're all attached, so I cut them apart, and I mounted them on the gray rubber. So, a sheet of gray rubber, which is like A4 size, is five or six dollars from Simon Says Stamp, so it's pretty inexpensive. So, um, I've decided that I'm going down the path so I can use them in my Misty to mount all my rubber stamps. You can put some sticky stuff on the back and put them on a clear block or use a tack and peel as other options, but that's what I'm doing. And they are super detailed, they're really nice, they're on red rubber, um, which makes them very easy to clean. If you, So I'm just pulling out the stamps here so you can see them. Uh, and then there's that guy, and then the elephant, where is it? Oh, there he is. So these are um, the stamps here, and I love them. I've already used this one in a card. It was so much fun just to color. Very clean and simple card. Um, hold on, I actually have it here. Okay, so this is just the clean and simple card I did here. I just used the elephant. I paired it with some sketchy stamp sets. This one is a purple onion design balloon. And then the sentiment I liked because it's kind of just... Um, almost like a typewriter font and that was just uh, my favorite things um, sentiment but I liked how I can make this a clean simple card and I gave it for a birthday card for a guy actually to my husband so yeah I kind of like that it was nice and clean and simple so that is the first stamp set and then I showed you sort of this one already um, this one is like the grumpy penguins and they're slightly different there's one small and two big ones um, but I just these guys were so funny looking that I wanted to get them. There's, I don't know, I loved how grumpy they were. It was just, it made me giggle, so. So yeah, so like I said, this is pretty much the same size as a standard size stamp set. Um, and I think it was only $8. So it was really inexpensive. I think these ones were around $14. Uh, I should say euros, not dollars. Um, so yeah, uh, so they got these little sketchy penguins they're funny the number is KTZ145 um, so that's that one there and then the other one I got was this puppy dog one and it's KTZ161 
Um, and I just love that, again, masculine cards are for dog people, because I got heaps of kitten sort of stamp sets now, because I'm both a cat or a dog person. I'm both. Um, but I know heaps of people that are just one or the other. And I don't have many dog stamps. And I loved how these were sketchy. Again, I could use them for masculine because they're not too cutesy. Um, yeah, and I just love the feel of them. So we've got like this little dog here that's sort of looking back. And you got the the long haired dude up there. You got a Dalmatian over here. The long, um, what are they called? Hot dogs. That's all I'm thinking of. Sausage. Sausage. Dogs? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I don't think that's their real name. And you got like the puppy that sort of looks like he's begging. And then you've got sort of this um, rough looking one with the spiky collar on him. And there's two bones as well. So there's a plain one, there's one with um, a bow on it. And I, like, they had a few samples. Um, I think I just Google it sort of thing for samples or whatever. And they had like this dog here that's, you know, sort of looking up and there's all these bones that were dangling from the top of the card. Like he really wants one. Same with this one. They're all like, they're all sort of looking up. So you can always have these like bones sort of just along the top sort of like look like they're hanging, um, hanging down. So I think that was really, really cute. You can draw like a leash. So they're looking back as well. Um, anyway, I just really thought this was a really nice stamp set, so I grabbed these ones again. Um, I think if you're in the U.S., there is now a online store that you can. That's a U.S. store that um, is stocking like all the overseas sort of stamp companies. Um, Sandy Olnek had the link there because that's where I saw their last time I saw someone use these um, stamps. Um, so you're, if you're in the U.S., you can just sort of, you don't have to go directly from them. It was like a one-stop shop for your overseas stamps that are hard to find, or, you know, not in your major online stores in the U.S. But like I said, I got mine directly from the main store. It was really good, easy shipping, fast shipping. I was really happy. <laughs> so, yeah, that's this haul video.